The Bowery has long been the home of restaurant supply stores and homeless shelters. But with the arrival of the new museum, the street and the neighborhood are changing dramatically. New galleries pop up everywhere on the Lower East Side. The Uptown Gallery Salon 94 is just opening a second space on Freeman Alley. Oh, the main decision was to be close to the new museum. It's not really the Lower East Side as a as an as a as a neighborhood it was just to be close to the to the new museum and also i guess yes the fact that the the rents were a bit lower than if we had been looking in the west village or or in chelsea the art here is fresh and young the spaces are renovated convenience stores the art dealers are a mix of chelsea refugees true pioneers and complete newcomers the residents next to these galleries are curious about their new neighbors. Amy Smith-Stewart enjoys the dialogue with the local community. My own block has been incredible because a lot of the uh, people that live on the block are really interested in what's going on in the gallery. It's the first gallery like this, contemporary art on this block. So they're coming in all the time and asking questions. And I enjoy it because I think it's important to have that local spirit. This very different spirit caused pioneers like Melissa Bent and Mirabella Martin to open up their gallery, Rivington Arms, here five years ago. We wanted to open the Laura's side because we were living there and it was a place that we hung out and spent time and artists were living there and it made sense to us. We wouldn't have opened it anywhere else. The influx of new galleries gives more local artists a chance to show. The Haitian painter Leslie Jean Felix prepares for his upcoming show at Sensei Gallery, which has quite unusual opening hours. We open late because of uh, the Lower East Side area. We have a lot of restaurants and the circulation is more busy during the night. And during the day, everybody's in the office and they're not in the neighborhood. So it was, make, it was making more sense to get, to get to be open from 6 to 9 p.m. Nighttime is when the Lower East Side gets busy. And it is this true New York mix that the patrons of this burgeoning art scene enjoy. Uh, it's a wonderful community. Uh, you have real people like living around. It's not at all like this kind of fake neighborhood. It's really like the real New Yorkers. I just love the energy and I love that it's becoming a new art destination. It seems a little more youthful and energetic, not so fixated on the, on the blue chip money-making artists. After the exodus from Soho to Chelsea, this is the track of the art pack back downtown. A new art destination is born.